Hey guys, Blockit here. Uh, playing that other single player game I mentioned in the last Smite video. This is Don't Starve. It's a minimalistic survival horror game. Hey Litwick, how you doing? Or Victina's Claw, sorry. I always call him Litwick just because it's easy to say. But yeah, this is Don't Starve. This is the single player game. Y you're going to be seeing a lot of it just because it's so easy to record compared to a multiplayer game like Smite. I just love it so much. Anyway, so moving on to the game. Uh, Don't Starve is a minimalistic survival horror game. It's very cool, very interesting. I've been invested in it since it was in beta like a year ago. Uh, it was five dollars, my god, now it's fifteen. Who duck? Get it in the bottom floor there. Ooh, yeah, but anyways, it's very fun. It's a pretty slow start, but once you get into it, there's so much depth and exploration and lore to it. It's very cool. Anyways, let's uh, let's start a game. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty pro at this. Pretty pro at this game. Oh uh, yeah, where's the new game button? Okay, hold on, I'm just gonna go kill myself in one of these worlds, because I don't really use all of them. So I'll be back. Hold on. I do this for you! Alright, got that done. So alright, let's start a new game. Uh, character. Um, there are many different characters. I believe there are eight or nine. Anywhere from 8 to 11. There's a bunch more in the DLC that came out, but I haven't got that yet. I, I just wanted to start here in the Let's Play and then move on. Anyway, we have... I don't know. I guess I can go... Uh, we'll go over the characters very briefly. Uh, this is Wilson. He's the original character. He was the first character. <laughs> he was the first character, foo. Uh, but basically, he's just the original guy. He doesn't have a super lot of perks. He's just, like, the iconic Don't Star guy. Uh, this is the second character released, Willow, the Firestarter. Things are so much prettier when they burn. Yeah, okay. Not gonna do that. Uh, basically, she's a character all based around fire. This is Wolfgang, the strong man. Uh, he's just all about strength and combat, basically. But, you know, this game is very, very hard. It's pretty brutal, especially in the later stages of the game. So, like, each of these characters, this guy has, like, no super big perks, no super big minuses. They all have big perks and minuses after that. Like, this guy, he's like a robot, so he can, like, eat lots of food. But if he gets wet, he, he takes some big damage. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is, yeah, and this is a lumber <laughs> <laughs> I just love him over here. He's just like, <laughs> he's just, just going so ham. You know, then we have some unknowns, which I actually know what they are, but I won't tell. Anyways, we're going to be playing as Wickerbottom, the librarian. Shh, no talking. Uh, basically, she's just my favorite character because she lends herself to a certain type of farming strategy I'm partial to. But anyways, uh, this is the world loading screen that happens when you create a new world. Uh, the reason I'm not skipping it out is... Oh, that was really quick. Well, normally it's not that quick, but <laughs> the text it shows while it's making the world is just very funny. So, alright. <laughs> I just want you to hear like his little. Oh, what is it? It's the it's the big thing. It's the, it's, yeah, I just wanted you yeah, organs organs. That's what it's called. I wanted you to hear his big organ voice. Anyways, so yeah, this is it. I told you it was very minimalistic. Um, you know, third person overhead view, very flat. Uh, this is a forest biome right here. Don't worry. There's. Get away from my seeds. Go shoot. All right. But yeah, very minimalistic. <laughs> Actually, this is a really sparse beginning. There's like a bird, butterfly, there's a tree, here's a bush. Mm -mm, sweet berry. But yeah, this is going to be a pretty slow start. Uh, so basically, let me explain the HUD here. Uh, this is like your little crafting segment. All the things you can craft are here. Since we're a librarian and we know so much, we get an extra crafting bonus. Uh, we don't need to like build like certain things that you need would normally need to craft stuff. We just know, because we're smart and we read lots of books. That's why you stay in school, in case you ever get dumped into a parallel... What's this over here? Is that something? Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a rabbit. <laughs> I'm really excited. It's some kind of logomorph with horns. Oh, well. What's this talking about? But yeah. <coughs> uh, this first day is going to be kind of slow. Like I said, it does have a slow start, but it'll get so much cooler later on. Basically, we're just going to walk around, harvest resources, get some twigs, mm, get some berries. Alright. So, yeah, I was explaining the HUD messed up. So this is like the crafting stuff and there's so, so many different materials that you can use to craft stuff like axes, you know, there's tools, you know, shovels, axes, pickaxes, blah, 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 boring stuff. That's where it gets fun. Science. You can make a thermometer, you can make a rainometer. Ooh, green grass, that's good. We need some grass. Hello. 
Well, I mean, it's not really a rabbit if you look closely. It's a jackalope, but it's still pretty cute. Alright. Ooh, carrot. Delish. Yeah, anyways. Uh, our, girl, our goal here is just to survive the first night, and to do that, we have to get some flint. Pronto. Uh, I'm, for the, I'm sure most of you know. Uh, flint is a small hard walk. Uh, it's often used to start fires. Evil flower. Not often one sees a flower with such a powerful aura. Hey, well, I ain't touching it. Anyways, we gotta find some flint pronto, make an axe. Oh, goodness, it's almost over. <laughs> It would be really sad if we died because we didn't find any flint. I'm trying to zoom out as much as I can right now just so we can see any flint. It's like a little hard grayish rock. It's sharp. Oh well. Let's see if there's some by the side of the road. Dang, we gotta book it. Um, so yeah, I was explaining the HUD. This is just your mandrake. What does this do? Oh. We killed it! Yeah, we'll just hold it. Alright, cool, got a mandrake. <laughs> that's funny, that's actually one of the rarest drops in the game. There's only like three or five of them in the world, and we found the first episode. Oh, well. Actually, no. Oh, hold on. I gotta go. Is there more? Oh, good. Good golly, there wasn't any grass. Alright, well, let's go back to the grasslands and get some grass. Because basically. If we're left out in the dark, we will die. There are mysterious night creatures that will tear us limb from limb. So let's not let that happen. Uh, there's not a lot of, like, fire starting in this game. You basically come equipped with the ability... Oh, oh by the way, if, like, the screen shifted, like, just there, uh, it's just because I hit Q to change the point of view. Since this is, like, a 2D game, but it's also, like, in a 3D world, world you sort of need the ability to, like, switch and, you know, and be able to look around stuff in case stuff gets stuck places. Alright, um, let's just try to find some torches. That's another mandrake? Are you serious? As far as I know, these are the rarest food sources you can get. What? It didn't die. What is it doing? It's following us. Go away. Don't want you. Oh my gosh, shut up. You're so annoying. <laughs> This is the most annoying, lucky thing, evil flowers ever. Oh well. We'll keep making grass, we'll keep making torches. I don't want to live through the night on a torch, but if we have to, we will, I guess. Because there's no flint anywhere. Which is really bad. Really, really bad, honestly. Well, um, oh yeah. So I was talking about this. This is the day-night cycle, up in the top right corner. Uh, basically... The right side of it, where it's all yellow, that's day. The brownish, reddish part, maroonish part, that's dusk, which is what we're in right now. And I'm sorry, it may be very hard to see right now, and I apologize for that. I'll turn up the brightness of my monitor the next episode when I play this. But what's happening right now is just that this game does not have an option to turn up the brightness in the game. I'm not sure why. I'm sure people have asked for that. I've, I've checked to see if it's an option. But, hmm, what's this? Oh yeah, this is the savanna biome. It's like little mat of grass here. You guys seen any flint? I ain't seen no flint. We still flint and make an axe. Flint! Got it. Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry about the mouse cursor on screen, but alright. Take that pronto. Luckily, there is an axe right here, so let's chop this down. Let's work them old little muscles. Oh my. This is a bad trick. Can you guys hear it? Hold on, I'm gonna turn up the game volume. Yeah, you hear it? The little merpin? The little merpin? Yeah. The dude does not get more annoying than that. Alright, but actually, it looks like we found ourselves a good little start starting point here. Uh, we got an axe, so that's gonna last us a long time. Probably long enough for us to get more flint. Yeah, here's more flint. It, it, it's just, man, if you don't get enough flint or enough grass, you're really not gonna survive the first night. So, alright, we'll just go around here pick flowers, which increase sanity, and during the night I'll explain more of the HUD. I'm just walking, oh my gosh. Can I examine it? Can I kill it? I can't. Can't even examine it. What the? Oh well. Alright though, it's almost night, so let's make a campfire. Well, quick, let's make a campfire! Whoosh. Lumos! Alright, and I'm sorry about the sorry about the mandrake in the background. It's just honking at us. Uh, I don't know. 
Mandrakes are cool, though. Uh, they have a pretty important place in lore. Uh, I'm sure you guys are familiar with Harry Potter, at least most of you. I'm pretty sure it's in the second or... Th hey, this was a mushroom, wasn't it? Oh, well. Uh, in the Harry Potter movies, in the Hufflepuff's, uh, bot botany? Botanology? Plantology class? Uh, they had to take care of mandrakes, and in Harry Potter there were these evil wizard things, but basically mandrakes are... They they were a plant that people thought when they used to exist, when you pull them out of the ground, they would let out a horrible shriek so loud that anyone who heard it would die or fall into an... Im yeah, it was so loud they would die upon being pulled out of the ground. Anyone who heard it would die. But the mandrakes would then die once they were out of the ground, and you could safely pick them up afterwards, because they wouldn't be screaming since they were dead. And then the mandrake body... Oh my gosh. You are so annoying. You little... Look at this little punk. You're going- I'm going to kill you. So hard. Um, what was I saying? But yeah. And it's really believed to have powerful sleeping, you know? It, it, it's believed like if you eat it or make it into a potion, you will fall asleep the whole day. Alright, so that's my poorly worded, incoherent ramblings about mandrakes. Oh! I don't know how to mark this on the map. Like, I wish there was like a little check mark I can make. Like, here's that stupid mandrake. The last one we picked up died. Oh well. Let's eat some berries. All right, so let's talk about the HUD now. Just as I walk around and harvest stuff. Uh, this is the hunger bar. Uh, if it gets to zero, we start taking tons and tons of damage. So that's bad. We want to keep it full by eating food. And there's lots of food right now. Berries, grass, carrots. Very good stuff. And carrots, they're non-renewable. You pick them up, they're pretty much gone forever. They're meant to be there, you know, to make... This game used to be so, so brutally hard, you could, like, barely even play it. But now they're, they, there's lots of little vegetation, like berry bushes and carrots, to help you in those first couple days getting set up. Anyways, let's just walk around. So that's hunger. So that'll help us there. We can't let that get too low. And on some characters, that affects how hard you can hit, how well you can combat, too. Alright, this is our health me meter, self-explanatory, I think. I don't need to worry about that. And this is our sanity meter. It uh, Ours starts at 250, because we're so smart that we read lots of books. Right. I'm going to do a bad thing here. I'm going to do a bad, bad thing. Let's see if we can get him. Uh, I've s here, I've set it. Oh. I was about to say, I have set a trap for the rabbit. But it did not work. Oh, I'm trying to get some meat, just because that fills up your belly faster. Ooh, rabbits. Ooh, lots of rabbits. Alright, basically, they used to be stupid, you could just... Rabbits used to be stupid. You used to just be able to stand by their hole, and when they saw you, they would run to their hole, and you would just kill them. Come on. Yes! You fell into the trap. Look at it, look at it hop around like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but Sandy, basically, the more unsettling and disturbing things we see, and I'm sure you're watching this right now, and you're like, oh my gosh, this is boring. What disturbing things could you see? Oh, trust me. You, we will see disturbing stuff. This actually gets pretty freaky. Wow, we have so much food. I'm just gonna, like, just chomp on these carrots. But yeah, um, you know, it, it, I'm, I'm sure it doesn't feel like it now, but there is a story to this game. Oh, who da? Shiny, shiny. I like it. Ooh, graveyards. Oh, but yeah, this is actually a perfect example of what I was talking about with the unsettling stuff here. Um, this video is going to last until the end of day two. Today is day two. Once it hits night, I'll take a break. Yeah, let's have some fun. Actually, I gotta make a... Gotta make a backpack. I'm putting out of space to store stuff. So. <laughs> uh, we do have that rabbit. We'll put, <laughs> we'll put the rabbit in the backpack. Alright, let's equip this, and... I hate to dig up a grave, Sonny, but... Okay. <laughs> but yeah, as you saw, we dug up that grave there, and our sanity dropped. It's at 226 right now. Well, and, and now it's at 216, because we're just digging up a grave, and it's just bad overall. And let's keep doing that. And I'm hoping something fun is going to happen. No, nope, more tentacles. I don't even know what a desiccated tentacle does. Mismatched buttons. Hey, maybe I can use that in a shirt or something. Hardened rubber bung. That sounds delicious. Can we eat that? And, ooh, shiny, shiny. It is warm. Excellent. 
Alright, so <laughs> that's our grave robbing for today. Uh, and this little thing we're on is a road. We don't know who made it and we don't know what. Oh, and that's a pig. That's another pig. This is a pig village. This is beautiful. Hello, pigs. Hello. Hello, Septimus. Hello, Porkbad. Hello, Honorius. Oh, sorry about that. Hello. Hello, pig. Hello, pig king. He is a leader of the village. Look at how fat he is. Do you want... He actually does. Let's give him a desiccated tentacle. And he barfs gold! It's beautiful! Alright. But anyways, um, it's almost gonna be night. We'll set up... Wow. We have so much... Can we eat gold? No, I guess we can't. That's a, so that's a sober reminder that wealth is not everything. See, look at this guy. He died amongst rocks filled with gold. You need... Well, actually, he had a shovel, so he couldn't get him open, but... He was not happy. Look at him. Does he look happy? No, he doesn't, because he died of starvation, because he can't eat gold. So, the moral of the story today is don't trust in wealth to give you happiness. Count on your friends. And your family. And your desiccated tentacles. Don't count on locks. Well, oh, and anyway, that's how I'm going to end the video. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy Don't Starve. Uh, you'll be seeing more of it, and trust me, it won't be getting more exciting. I know this was probably pretty boring. Anyways, uh, I'm Blocky T. This was me playing Don't Starve as Wickerbot. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye!